Why are you poking me, Mom? Don't poke me. What? Okay. Yeah, we back. My phone overheated these lights. These vanity lights give off so much heat. It overheated my phone. <laughs> so hopefully it don't go off again. Um, I'm about to get Ryan here together. Pig, pig. Pig, pig. Oh, hold on. After we hear this, we can turn on Pig Pig in two seconds. That's all you want to watch. Pig 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 Pig. Come on. All right, I gotta go get her um her some water beans. Her little hair beans stay like right here. Stay in it. I'll put this in her hair, the oil, brush, comb, edge brush, and stuff like that. I just need to go get her some more romance for her hair because them is all stretched out. Hold on, baby. Her big hair thing is, is in here. Ugh. Thank you. Y'all, my face is doing this funny crap where it's trying to break out. I don't know why. Like, I'm about to go see. Y'all, I love her. I love, 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 love her. Love somebody you never met in your entire life. Like it's crazy. Yes, I I just I can't even express it. <laughs> like we here. Like I don't know. But y'all, my my face doing this funny stuff as y'all can see. All these dark marks, and I got a new little break. I said. Uh, I don't break out. I'm confused. Um, so <laughs> not like that. So I'm trying. I don't know. Hush. Now, if y'all mama had y'all barrettes and beads in an old popcorn box, <laughs> but y'all know this with the little the little popcorn come in on the holidays. The different little, and it'd be like the little, it'd be like the caramel. Yes, I swear. If your if your bobos wasn't in here, I I don't know about your childhood. <laughs> but y'all look, my face is like over it. I'm gonna get it together though. I want to go see a dermatologist and. I don't know if it's like my hormones is just like all over the place or what is it, but I don't break out like I've never broke out like this. It could be the makeup for me wearing makeup and stuff, but I doubt it. Like, come on, why am I breaking out? You better not touch this neither, because if them, them rubber bands get everywhere, I'm gonna get up. So I want you to know that. Okay, you know it. I'm gonna get you. Yo, I could watch her all day, every day. And still be like, it's the first time I've seen it. That's sad.
it's not going anywhere. Sunny day, and Pepper and George can't wait to go into the garden to play. Mummy, please can we go out to play? Well, I don't want you can to go out to play here and you finish your breakfast. Ninety-nine point five isn't bad. If it get over a hundred and two, I mean, what are you taking for it? Are you taking like, did you did you get some medicine from like the doctor? Because ninety-nine isn't bad. I mean, I mean, it's not good. I mean, if that's not your normal temperature, that's not good. But as long as it's not over like a hundred and two, um, I would just say. Um, just continue to, you know, take your medicine, stay cool, maybe eat like a popsicle or something, take a, take a cool bath or something or a shower. But if you go to the hospital, they'll give you something for the ear infection, but your temperature is, is going to continue to rise if um if you don't no i'm a cna but that's just 
basics. <laughs> it's oddly relaxing. People ask me, does she sit there while you do her hair? And the answer is, yeah. Just give her something to watch, give her something to do. Longer style, she do kind of get irritated after a while. But I mean, as long as you have snacks or something, something to drink and some cartoons to entertain her, she is, your kids should pretty much sit there. And if you're being gentle, if you're being like really rough on their head, they're going to, of course, they're going to move and stuff a lot. So I try to be real gentle. Like y'all see, I didn't comb and brush through her hair until she had moisture on it. Like I won't dare try to comb her hair when it's dry ever or nothing's on it, you know. And then I finger detangle the ends first with my fingers once moisture is on it but her hair is so curly i can't just like rake through it she'll have so much breakage it'd be ridiculous i don't be doing these little braids over and i'm not i don't do them that often No, she don't wear a scarf at night. If I could get her to wear a little satin scarf or something, that'd be good. I'm gonna try to get her like a almost like a do rag scarf um, to tie it so it don't really come off. But I, I do need to start getting in the habit of putting that on her hair because the the cotton and stuff from the the sheets and the pillows isn't necessarily good for her hair unless she sleep on like a satin pillowcase. And I don't have one of those. I probably should get one of those. But she don't sleep on a pillow anyway. She sleeps like on. She's not like a pillow baby. No, <laughs> I don't care for my natural hair at all. I told you, I don't care for my natural hair. Yeah, I mix a couple oils in this bottle. Um, Cause they, they come in like big, big containers. So I just put it in here and it's easier to just apply it every day. If you just mix them and put them in something that you could just, you know. But it's like coconut oil, you know, that comes in a jar. It's kind of hard to scoop that out and it's kind of messy. So it's like coconut oil, avocado oil, um, I have like grapeseed oil, um, olive oil. I don't, I, one time I mixed all of them in, but sometimes I just mix two or three. Um, but I always, I always mix in the avocado and the coconut oil all the time. Sometimes I'll switch between the grapeseed and the extra virgin olive oil. Um, or sometimes I just leave both of them out depending on how I feel. But yeah, I just, a mixture of different oils and then this, which is not so healthy for her hair, but I probably need to get like an actual hair lotion, <laughs> but I like the way this smells, so it has her smelling good like a baby, so that's why I like it, because with all of these oils, they don't smell the best, so with this, it, it makes her hair smell good. I mean, but this is good for her, so I still have to put it in there. I mean, coconut oil smells good, but, like, all the other oils don't. And I, coconut oil had to grow on me because I didn't like the smell of it at first. It literally had to grow on me. But now I use coconut oil for everything. I use it for my face. I use it for my body.
Y'all know avocado, I mean not avocado, but coconut oil is, is so good. Like some people even brush their teeth with it. Like as a natural way, I'm not, but <laughs> I'm using, I'm sticking to things. Uh, but some people use, if they like super natural, you know how they say all these harmful products are in the stuff we use daily. Some real, real natural people, uh, coconut oil will clean your teeth, I guess, but, and like, like salt water and stuff, but ain't nobody got time for that. Stick to y'all toothpaste, okay? Stick to it. Because I don't want to smell nobody's breath. Breath is the worst to smell. Okay? Yeah. They don't smell good. Yeah, the pink, yeah. I, I just like the way baby stuff smells. <laughs> I love the way baby stuff smells. But, I mean, I can see... It just makes her smell so good. It's just that extra touch to make her smell good, honestly. And to just and it lays her hair down pretty good, which is the crazy thing. Oh, I didn't put no water. What am I doing? And y'all don't put the, the water on the roots. I just put it, I hold it and I literally y'all as y'all see I put it on the tips. And I just break my fingers through it. But I don't try to get her hair too soaking wet. Cause who wants that? Today is Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Peppa and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy. And I get her hair to lay like so flat and sleek. I just use this comb to like. Comb out the roots a little bit, but I don't pull it all the way through. He love when I do her edges. <laughs> yeah, version olive oil. Actually, the funny thing is, y'all, you, you use it to cook, obviously, too. So I had it downstairs because, um, no, I cook. But, um, my nephew, he got into it and it was, we should have took a picture. My sister's a soul man. He spilled the, I have a huge bottle, like it's bigger than my face. Like it's a huge, huge bottle. And he spilled it all over him. It was all over the kitchen floor and everything. I'm like, oh my God. So sometimes I don't mix that in there because it'd be downstairs. The rest of the oils, obviously you use to cook, but I don't use like coconut oil. And I don't use all those oils to cook, like not. Nah. I just stick to, uh, you know, vegetable oil and olive oil. Bam, that's it. Okay, now I'm about to do her other side, her edge, so y'all can see, y'all can witness this, I guess. Okay. 
can y'all see? I guess. And I kind of just follow the how her hair grows in the front a little bit. So like her hair comes down right here. So I just go like that. Cheers, Mama. Or maybe you don't. It's fine. My hands be like so greasy. All that freaking oil be on her hair. It's like crazy. I try to be gentle. She don't. She don't ever like cry or nothing, unless she want to just get up and play. But nine times out of ten, I keep her busy, you know, while I do it, so she don't have to. She don't cry or whatever, cause she watching Pepper Pig. I think I don't. I just feel like the I just feel like the kids are just look so so maybe the kids are just grown or now. I don't know. Like 16 year olds be looking like grown now. I'm just like when I was 16, uh I didn't look like that. When I was 15, 14, I looked at 15, 14 for sure. I do not look older. These kids is so big. It's so weird. It's something like in the water. I don't know what they doing. But it's like the kids is big nowadays. Like they're big. Like they're like far as the way they mature is like they big. <laughs> like what the heck? I got to get us some socks. Oh, Ryan gonna be like me though. She's gonna be small. She's gonna be petite. I do. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Uh, I plan to stop within uh by the time she's three because I want we I have I say we but. She, you know, she's going to start school next year. Fall, 
I want my boobs. I'm not gonna lie. I want my boobs done. Um, and I don't think they could do it if you still have milk. Um, and then you're not gonna want nobody to be on your breasts while you're healing anyways. That's gonna be painful. Um, I have this hair everywhere. Um, so I, I kind of just, and then she's getting older. So I feel like it's time. I want to get my breasts done. They're so small, y'all. I'm flat chested. So I want to get a little, mm, not too much. But y'all, Bianca made me do it a little bit. Because when she got her boobs done, I'm just like, I already wanted them done. Because I'm not like a follower or anything. I've been wanting them done. Me, my sister, me and my best friend have been talking about this for the longest. But when she got hers done, it just made me like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because a lot of people tell us, like, don't do it. Like, I even tell my sister, I'm like, don't do it. Because you haven't had kids yet. So your chest still might grow, you know. Um, but my best friend her chest not she got she got to get a boob job too but her family's telling her no don't do it i mean she i mean she don't have to do it but i think she should too because she have a really small chest too uh from dmb nation her boobs like they be looking so nice and it's not even I don't know. It's not even for like nobody else. It's not that I, ooh, I want them for my man or nothing. I want them for me. I want them because the way they look in like clothes is so much better. Who wants this? Yeah. Y'all should see when I go try on clothes at the at the mall. I can't get certain things I want because of my boobs. Literally, you can't wear certain things because it don't look right. It don't fit right, and you like a boy, y'all. <laughs> look. I'm getting them done. I want them done within the next year or two. So if I do right and I stack my coins, I can get it soon. So, but it's going to be a process. I have to look for a doctor or a surgeon or whatever. So it's going to be a process, but first I have to wean her, make sure she's off and then start looking into that or whatever. But y'all, I got a little padding in this bra, so don't let it fool y'all. My chest is very, 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 very small. Like, they small. Tomorrow morning, I think I'm going to go get a few gifts when I get off of work. Because I'm not going to have her. She's still going to be with her daddy. So, I'm going to take advantage of that time to um, run some errands. So I think I may vlog. I'm going to bring my camera with me. Um, and I got to get my mama's gift. Um... I gotta get a few people some gifts. I'm not getting a lot of people no gifts this year. Because, look, I got tickets and I got my kid to worry about. So, I'm going to just get my parents, my little brother. Because he's the youngest still. He don't have, like, a job or anything. So, I'm going to get my parents, my brother, and Ryan. That's it. So, I'm still trying to think of what I'm going to get my stepmom. And I'm going to get her grandma something, to Her grandma on her daddy's side. Um, Something, too. But that's it. Oh, you know I am. If I vlog it, I'm talking to him. Like, look, I don't know if I want to go to Miami to do it. I don't know if I want to stay here to do it. I don't know, but I want to do it with somebody. Like, I want to do it with either, like, my best friend. I don't know if she's going to be ready then or not. She have kids, like, back to back. So, I don't know if she's going to be ready then. My sister, she most likely not going to be ready. But I kind of wanted to do it with somebody. So if we do it, we go to Miami together. But I mean, fuck it. It's just going to be me, my man, and my baby. Like, we go into Miami for like a week or three days just to get my boobs done. I think that's what Bianca did. And remember when they said something happened to her on an airplane? Because you're really not supposed to fly after you get a surge, after you get surgery or whatever. Um, and that's why she got sick. I know. I, when I seen it and I seen her boobs and then she got sick, I said, that's why she got sick. They trying to fool everybody like she didn't get a boob job. Everybody know Bianca's breast wasn't sitting like that before. Like, y'all can't fool us. <laughs> we can't fool me. You can fool, like, fool the kids that watch, but y'all can't fool the older older people. Thank you. Thank you. She's a mess. She's over here watching Peppa Pig. Little do she know I got a huge surprise for her for Christmas. She loved her some pepper. I don't know if I'm gonna order her stuff offline. I doubt they have it in the store. So 
I mean, everything now I want to get her. So I'm going to just order it offline. Because I literally thought of this at the last minute. Surprise her. She, she be, we sitting in the same chair, so I'm hiding her. I'm like on the edge of the chair, and she's in the chair too. She's watching. They say, she like, what are you doing? Y'all, she's a baby vlogger. She's a baby vlogger. She be having my phone, and she'll be on Snapchat sometimes. We you okay? She'll be on Snapchat, and she was like, she had the camera. She like, look at this, look at this. And she was recording me. I'm like, why are you recording me? I'm like, oh my, you need a, you need a camera. You need your own channel. She do? Do they spell it the same? Yeah, I'm so small. I'm definitely not getting no, uh, no D or nothing. Like, I almost want to keep the same size. I want to just, I really want it to look natural. So that's what I'm going to first say, you know, when you go in for the consultation. I don't know, like, how they could be able to take this or that. Um... But right now, I'm a B34, so um, I don't know if they're going to shrink even more once I stop breastfeeding. I hope not, but I made like almost an A. Like, I want to be, I, but the thing is, I still want to be in a B. I want to be in a high B. I want to be in a C, honestly, but if I get to a C, I won't be mad, but I need to be like in the early Cs. I don't want to be heavy up top at all because I still want to be balanced. Like, I don't have a lot of booty at all, so I don't want to be, like, big up top, a little down by. This, this doesn't work for me. I want to be still balanced. Like, I'm balanced now, even though scrubs and y'all can't see, but I'm kind of, like, balanced now, but the chest is just a little, just a little bit. I definitely can't see you. I can't see anybody. I wish I could. I I wish we could add people in how you do on uh, Instagram. That'd be nice to do. <laughs> yeah, but we done. We fine. So I won't be scrambling. Her shoes is here. I'm gonna need my charger. Camera. Yeah, I really think I'm a vlog in the morning. Um, I think I'm gonna just go straight from work and go, dude. Cause if I come home, I'm not gonna leave back out. You know how they how they sometimes like snowing and stuff. You're not gonna like once you in, you in. Oh, and then come home. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see her go to school too. She'll be in there next year, y'all. I, yo, I think she will love it. I, I really think she'll love it. Why do it be backwards? But I really, I've been late, y'all, so she's been wearing those two puffs. I haven't did her hair any any other style. But this, this, this puff is completely dry right here. So that's how it looks when it's just dry with oil on it. No other curl in a hand smoothie, none of that stuff to make it curly, just water and oil. This side is a little still wet, but it's like 50% dry. So that, by the time we walk out the door, it'll be dry for sure. You said pretty girl. Yes, her curls do be popping. Thank you. And I didn't put anything on it. I have like curling hands and smoothie and stuff in there and like curly stuff for her hair. But I don't even use it. I feel like it, I don't like the way, I don't like the way stuff be feeling on her hair. So I don't put a lot of products on her hair. Because I feel like the stuff be too, too thick and too heavy. Hmm. <laughs> the edges make the hair be <laughs> Yeah, I like to slick her little edges down. That's my little favorite part. The little finishing touch. I need a sweater. So 
sun won't be freezing. They be having it freezing, but y'all, yeah, I know I got my heater. They got me messed up. Heater is, I sleep too good there with the heater. Cause you know when you warm and you comfortable, you sleep better. I used to be cold, so I didn't sleep as good. So I would I would be able to hear, but sometimes I feel like I, I feel myself sleeping too good when I'm there. And I have to catch myself like I can't get too deep because if I get too deep, I won't hear her and it'd be over. Like she'll be calling all night and I'll be in there knocked out until like it's time to go. <laughs> And I wake up like, wait, what happened? <laughs> yeah, it's not too, but y'all, her hair, and people, I think people will be confused too. Her hair is not that, her hair is thick, but it's not like, her, her curl pattern is different, but her hair is very thick. It's very thick. With nothing on it, if I just wash it, let it air dry, and don't like, Ryan has some, she has some, some hair on that thing, but it's like, I just, that's why I keep it stretched either in braids or ponytails. I just don't let her wear like an afro or nothing because it'll be like a, a fight. <laughs> we'll be fighting me and her hair when it's time to do it. So I just try to keep it uh, stretched out as possible, as much as possible. So when I do it, it won't be, you know, so much moving because she, you know, it's uncomfortable for her. A fly. Fries. A fly. Those fries are cold, mama. I mean, they're not cold, but they're not hot. But go ahead. Chicken. You can have the chicken, too. She's still nibbling on my food. <laughs> her hair she used to be bald head yeah i remember my little bald head baby she was bald before she came out with hair then she lost it for some reason and then it grew back <laughs> my baby hair fell out i was like no and you know what if y'all watch my her hair video where i talked about it i think his bald head ass neighbors jinxed my baby so I guess when like she was first born or whatever, um, like his neighbors that he pretty much like grew up with and stuff, he like sh you know showed them a picture of her or whatever because they wanted to see her, and they like oh she's so pretty she got a head full of hair but they like you know it's gonna fall out right like she she gonna lose all her hair. I'm like why would they say that? And then when he told me he like she she gonna lose her hair, I'm like no she's not. I'm like. No, no babies in my family had lost their hair. Like, they hair just grow out to the texture that it's going to be. Because when she was smaller, her hair was, her hair texture was a little bit different. And her hair was jet black. It was so pretty and silky and jet black. But, um, they, I was just like, no, it's not going to fall out. <laughs> and I was so sure. Like, no, my little brother hair didn't fall out. I was like, they hair didn't fall out. Why her hair fall out around six months? It started growing back when she was like one. She was bald, but luckily she went bald on each side at different times. So she like went bald on one side for a minute and then she went bald on the other side. And she always had like the little mohawk. So she had hair on top and a little hair in the back. I'm like, oh God. But I'm like, I think they jinxed my baby because they got her fucked up. I'm like, her hair is not going to fall out. And it did. I'm like, oh, crap. So much for what I, he like, I told you it was going to fall out. I'm like, if them bitches would have never said it, she would have still asked me. <laughs> Put that over her life. Like, no. On to you, three. But you know what? That's how it be, like, low-key, like, I'm sorry for the Caucasian people in here, but white people be bald head when they come out. And then next thing you know, their hair be long, thick, and pretty as heck. But they come out like bald. Or they be bald. Yeah, I ain't gonna, they come out bald. <laughs> and that's how you know. They gonna have a head full of hair when they get older. That's just how you know. And I think it's the opposite for African-American kids. 
we come out with so much hair it's ridiculous it's it just be everywhere and then it'd be like it just the process of it growing slows down <laughs> for a lot of people it slows down like it'd be like uh-oh I mean, it still be there, but it be it be it be growing at a slow pace. But I feel like her hair grew kind of fast, and I think I know why. Cause I got the magic touch. I was like, you know what? Let me find something for my baby. Get her some little grease. Let me put her shoe. What time is it? Oh, yes. God gonna be in a meeting spot in a minute. Let me put your shoes on. He gonna be calling me in a minute, y'all. Like, where you at? He's so pretty. What am I gonna do with this thing? Her so pretty. I got my charger, I need my camera, chopstick. If I'm still on here, I mean, I could show him, but he be in my videos. Y'all see him, y'all see him passing by, so he don't be in them, he don't be in them, in them, but he be like, y'all see him because he comes around. But if y'all go far enough on my channel to see him, he, he on there somewhere. We did a birth and my birth story video together, unfortunately. Oh my God, he looks so rough on there. So I advise y'all not to go watch that video. But he looked at, like, we look like we just had a baby. Like, just put it like that. <laughs> We look like it. Like, I was like, oh, why was I so ugly? I was over it. I looked like I had a kid, like, not too long ago. And I just, like, yo. With going forward, going forward, I'm going to fucking care. Like, I'm going to care. I'm going to wake up in the morning and be like, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I will be because I already did this. So I'm like, look, I didn't did this before. I got this. Okay, what am I looking for? My shoes. What happened? Wait, what happened? What happened? I'm glad I didn't shave her. Yeah, I didn't. I just left it alone. I've been slipping on my edges. I can't. When you wear your hair down, you can't really do your edges like that. You have straight hair. I just lay them down a little bit so they're not like everywhere. Wow. <laughs> Answer what? Hey. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Answer what? Yeah, she she has one already, I think, but she haven't posted any music on there. And it's probably blank, of course. But she's going to start pro posting her music. And she's going to be, I think she want to start doing little mini vlogs. So, or she said, like, uh, my nephew going to be on her, on her channel, too. So, like, if y'all want to see him and stuff and her, I hope she start vlogging. That'll be good. Um, She's going to, you know, start up her channel. So, I hope soon. She's got to get her little stuff together. You know, she just moved, so she's getting, like, situated, and she started a new job, and she's trying to get everything together. 
she got to get her little beauty room together too because you know she got a third room as well so she she want like her little vanity and stuff and she have her computer she's gonna get her her little room and stuff set up too so when she do her 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 singing videos and stuff like that she she can do it in there for youtube and stuff I'm the wrong one to talk to about that. She handles all her stuff as far as her music. But once she start, I mean, you could definitely get her channel and try to connect with her. Y'all, this hair is frizzy. Oh, I really want Ryan to model. I'd be so jealous at the Old Navy kids. I really want her to model for Old Navy. Like, she wear it so much, I feel like, come on, like, come through. And the little girl that, I know she's a new model because I haven't seen her on the website before. And they got this new model, and she looks like Ryan. She wears the two puffs. Of course, she don't have the braids, but she wears the two puffs. And they be frizzy, and I be mad, and I be like, now, why didn't they slick her hair down? <laughs> but, I mean, she's a kid. It's cute. She's still cute. But she kind of looks like Ryan. And I'm like, that could be my baby. So we gotta go, we gotta get to California and we working on it. We working on it. <laughs> Baby steps. I definitely wanna put her in a model age so she can model because she's so cute. And I, I really wanna put her in something. And then if I get in something, I, I mean, I'll be happy, but I don't think nobody want my little stuff. Y'all, like, I'm tiny, like in life, like real life. um i say follow his lead definitely um make it a suggestion to him like okay you know you know i'm interested if we're gonna take this further you know i'm gonna eventually meet your kids you know how do you feel about me meeting them do you want the like how do the mom feel do you want me to meet the mom just stuff like that and especially if you know this is gonna be like something long term and serious now i feel like if you're just talking to somebody everybody you talk to necessarily probably don't have to especially because probably everybody you talk to probably won't be around your kid either but i say just ask him like if y'all serious getting serious then yeah i say you should definitely probably try to try to meet her and let her know you're a decent woman okay you're coming in peace and, you know, because I, I know when Kimon tried to get him a, him a girl, I need to know. Look, I don't want to be last on the roster. She needs, I need to at least know what she, I mean, she don't have to come. I mean, who am I? She don't got to come. Well, I mean, I'm the baby's mama, but <laughs> look, I'm the baby's mama. But she don't have to come and like, oh, shake my hand. Like, oh, come meet my mom type stuff. Like, no, it's not like that. Just, I need to know, like, let me look outside and be like, okay. You know what I mean? Like. Okay, okay. Where, where you be? Where you work? Okay, okay. What you got going on? Like, you know, but it's not like I'm going to be giving her like the third degree or nothing like. So what's your intentions with my baby daddy? <laughs> like, that's not my place. So I feel like in those kind of meetings, it's weird. Like, what the fuck do you say? Yeah, I'm dating your baby mama. I'm be around the kid. That's obvious. So... <laughs> I mean, just to look each other in the face and be like, hi, my name is such and such. That's all it got to be. When he go pick up the kids one day, he if he go in, be like, look, I got my, my girl in the car. Mm, that probably not, I don't know. But be like, you know, I got my girl in the car or whatever. Do you want to meet her or whatever? And then maybe she can come out to the car and y'all can exchange a few words. Oh, yeah, it's going to be awkward. I wish I on a low, I wish somebody would just hurry up and just get serious with my baby daddy so I could just be like, look, let me run you down on something. I'm just playing. No, I ain't gonna be like that. But he not he not getting serious with nobody. I mean he he talks to girls. I know he do. He tell me about them sometimes. He talks to girls. He he, you know, but he's not to the point where he's serious with them and they around Ryan. Like he's very serious about that. 
he don't bring people around his family. Like, I was one of the only girls that met his family and actually came to his house. Like, I don't think no other girl, no, no other girl met his mama but me, 12th grade year. So that tells you a lot. He's very, you don't just meet his family and you don't just come around his kid like that. So he's, he's different. And if he know it's not going to be serious long term, he's not going to bring you around. Especially to meet me because you might run. <laughs> because I feel like I'm not going to be, I'm not mean. I'm not mean. But we had an incident in the summertime. Just, I'm not mean. <laughs> but some people also can get intimidating because when you think of somebody baby mama, you want the bitch to be ugly. I know if I get a man that got a baby, his baby mama better be ugly. Or I'm coming to all the drop-offs and all the pickups. <laughs> I'm coming to everyone. So I feel like maybe they get a little bit intimidated because I'm very attractive and not even trying to be. <laughs> not even trying to be. Like, <laughs> look, I'm not trying. I'm not trying, y'all. But it's true. It's true. And nine times out of ten, I'm prettier than them. So they're like, hold on. You know what I mean? But look, I want your man, girl. I had your man. That's done. That is your turn. Ah, oh. but y'all, if y'all seen that um that Eastside Ivo post, I was I reposted on Instagram before. It was so funny when the the new girlfriend pulled up and trying to meet the the baby mama, and she like you trying to meet me like you finna be around. <laughs> I just found that so funny because it's true, like. You not even finna be around long. What are you coming and meeting for? Like, like you finna y'all finna get married or something. Like, get out of here. But I mean, if y'all serious, dear, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, but if y'all serious, then go ahead. But <laughs> but the baby mama just know in the back of her mind, she gonna be like, this bitch ain't gonna be around long. I just <laughs> And it was so funny. She was like, your man ain't shit. His his daddy ain't shit. The mama fake as fuck. Like, just basically run her down on the T. And then she was like, I see why. I see why your baby daddy hates you. And I hate you too. She was like, you ain't making nobody mad. I already hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> basically, like, I'm already mad at myself for, for him being my baby daddy. So what are you telling me? Like, you ain't telling me nothing new. I was just so dead. I'm like, shoot, he was so petty for that one. But it's, like, so true. Like, I'm already mad at myself. Look, you ain't even got to, you ain't even got to hype the situation up. When you become a baby mama, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see the truth. But I, that, that, I, that just went on a tangent. Uh, I say follow his lead, definitely. And hopefully she's mature. And she not one of them crazy, I still want to be with my baby daddy. I'm going to keep the kids away from him type of baby mama. Hopefully she not. Because he got a new girlfriend. Ryan is watching TV. But y'all, I am so, I, I wish he would get serious already. Because I'm ready to be, look, I'm ready to be baby. <laughs> no, I'm not. I would be, I would be, and, and that's what he said. He like, he like, you probably going to be petty as fuck. I'm like, I'm not. Like, I'm going to be like super cool. Because guess what? When you busy and I, and I'm late for work and I need somebody to come pick, come meet me to pick Ryan up. I'm calling her fucking phone. Like, uh, <laughs> where you at? Because your man busy, and I got to be to work at 3 o'clock, so I need you to meet me at the meeting spot. <laughs> and, and we can get it that way. She need to have a car seat in the car. She need her own car seat because we don't switch car seats. Um, <laughs> look, if you're going to date him, you got to give it the program. You got to date his kid, too, so... Keep, keep one in the trunk. <laughs> so then I'm running late for work and I need you to come grab her. You can come grab her. 
And when she needs stuff for her birthday, when we doing the birthday parties, oh yes. Like, I need you to do this. <laughs> she gonna be the second mama. Women love to say they stepmama until they gotta do some shit for real. Huh. Put your arm in here. But I'm gonna utilize her ass if she a good one. I'm gonna be like, when you get paid? Cause Ryan needs some diet first. <laughs> I'm shady as fuck. I'm not gonna be like that. I'm so not gonna be like that. I'm like, oh, can you do her hair? Cause when she be at her daddy house, her hair come back looking a mess. So I'm gonna be like, you know, get, you know, gonna have to get some hair products. Do my baby. <laughs> So she don't be looking busted. You so pretty, mommy. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna need you to drop the fucking ball. It's gone. Oh, how do y'all feel? Exactly. She can get her own hair being. Mm -mm. How do y'all feel about step parents disciplining uh, the kid? I don't know. You ain't. But you better not even raise your voice at my kid. I'm sorry, cause if my dude don't do it, her daddy that can't even do it. He do it, but I'd be ready to kill his ass. If her daddy barely can do it, you can't even breathe hard at my kid. <laughs> I don't care what she do. You can't breathe hard at all. No, that's not her job. What? To discipline? Yeah, but I mean, now say he keep her, like say, like say they live together. We talking about a real, like, live together, the kid over there for the summer, or the week, the month, whatever. Because Ryan not going away. She's too young for that. But just say, she a, a good month or week or something. They live together. It's times where they're alone. Kids is bad as hell. We all know that. <laughs> what do you do? Call, you better call the daddy. Shit. Like, come get your kid. Weak, she is all into her shows. But, yeah, hopefully she's mature. Yeah, but see, some people don't have a problem with yelling at other people's kids or even touching them, like hitting them. So, but that's so good. That's good that you don't or whatever. But I mean, eventually, I'm trying to think because y'all know I grew up with a stepmom. Like my, I lived with my dad and my stepmom. She raised me. So, um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Did my stepmom ever try to yell at me? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I mean, we she yells now. Like we we get to do it. <laughs> but I mean. When I was younger, I'm trying to think. Like, my... Look, I'm telling too much. She raised us, pretty much. Like, we was with her more than we was with my daddy. Just put it like that. He was the go-getter. She was the take care of the kids, look cute type of wife or girlfriend. So, she had us. But we were kind of big. We weren't that small. So, we kind of already knew right from wrong. So, she didn't really have a reason to holler. Look, one time... <laughs> My little brother fell down a flight of stairs, which is her son and my, my daddy's son. And me and my sister was upstairs. We was watching him while she was asleep. Now, in that situation, she should have beat our ass. I'm sorry. Well, actually, she shouldn't because we it wasn't on purpose. Like, kids, they, they move so fast, and we're kids ourselves. We're not paying no attention, and he fell down the stairs. But me now, as like, 
let my kid let my kid fall. i'm beating your kid's ass she was over though she was like i know she was upset but I, she didn't even holler at us or anything like it was like totally an accident and i think she knew that i, th I think she knew what it wasn't no stuff like that because we even talk about it to this day <laughs> but she just like she didn't yell at us and like she didn't she wasn't like that and my other stepmama, my other sister mama before, she never, but she was never really around either because she used to work as well. So we was at the grandma house all the time. But she, she never really yelled at us either. Or like, she never hit us. Nothing. Like, I don't know. My daddy handled that. All, all, all she got to do is call, put him on the phone. Just put him on the phone. <laughs> Because me and my sister, we used to fight a lot. Me and my older sister, we used to, like, fight a lot. And then my stepmom used to try to, like, break it up. But she couldn't. So she would have to, like, call him. Because it's not like she could really do too much. You know what I mean? You don't want to do too much. And she couldn't really break it up. So, I mean, as a stepmom, look, I love my stepmom. So I'm not saying stepmom's, like, in a bad way. I mean, but you just kind of got to follow the daddy lead. And just try to look at it as if, you know, it was the other way around. Like, what would you want somebody doing with your kid, you know? But, yeah, I got a good stepmama, so. Stepmamas ain't so bad. That's why I said, let him get another girl. You you want to play stepmama? Don't just get when you get her post cute little pictures and then be like, uh-uh. Now, I'm going to need you to step up to the plate. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to step up. Step it up all the way. Cause bitches love to get somebody kid and take pictures and post it for social media. But what are you doing for that kid besides taking cute pictures? Like, oh, you doing something, girl? Huh? Juice. We gotta go downstairs to get juice. We gotta go. Mama's gonna be late for work. Y'all done went on a whole tangent about baby mamas. That was funny though. Let's talk about stepdads because Ryan will definitely have one. Just now. When it comes to my kid, I don't play. If her daddy can't do it, you damn sure can't. So, you can't have an issue with nothing. You got to be silent <laughs> about everything. Look, your opinion does not matter. Not if we're not married, at least. Come on. Oh, will she what? Yeah. Shit, it don't. <laughs> when it comes to my kid, I, I really don't play. So I don't know how he gonna be with his girl when it comes to like when they around you, but huh. If I even get a whiff of you don't like my kid, we done look. We done. Because <laughs> my kid is my everything. So, you better get with it or, or keep, keep it pushing. No, 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 no. I'd probably say girlfriend because I'm always saying the wrong thing. I definitely won't get a girlfriend. I don't like girls. <laughs> That's not my thing at all. Mm -mm. It's just not. I don't like females that much. No, but you know what I have thought of? The only how I would have a girlfriend is if we both had a man. Like, we not really, we not really girlfriends, but you know how they call it? Like, it's like a three-way relationship or whatever you want to call it. And, like, me and her don't touch each other. We, like, no, we, like, friends almost. But we just share the same dude. 
I wouldn't mind that. That would be the only way. But no. I'm not into girls like that. Oh, you know what I am missing, though? My face wash. I couldn't put this back on. So you've been ran out the damn house. You do? Thank you. Have y'all ever... What is the... If y'all know the name of that, I think... Is it called polygamy? It's something like that. Where you have more than, like, one wife or you have, like, a three-way relationship. Y'all over there like, hell no. I'm stingy. I'm stingy, too. But I just wouldn't be so, so close-minded to the fact. Yeah, I I would just wouldn't be so, I wouldn't be so close-minded to the fact. My heater, my heater stays at work. I got a heater that stays at work. Stays right where I need it to be. When I come, I just have to get, like, my toothbrush, my face washed. Since I'm not coming home, I got to wash my face and stuff. Um, in the morning. If I don't look a whole mess out there trying to shop with funky breath. Oh, I hate that. My hair scarf, oh, I got that in my pocket. I got that in my coat pocket. Thank you, girl. But it's in there. <laughs> I leave this scarf in there so when I go there. Because nine times out of ten, I wear my puffy coat to work. So I just leave it in the puffy coat. I'm about to whoop your butt. Get over here. Why did you do that? I just buttoned you up. Y'all, he annoying as fuck. I can't hear him. Come on, little girl. Uh-oh. Damn. Are you okay? You're okay. Oh. Okay, come on. We gotta meet Dada. Go ahead. Oh, y'all, it's snowing. Well, I can't show y'all everything. Yeah, that's all he had to do was text me. Dumbass. Y'all, I'm mean. Y'all haven't noticed. <laughs> y'all, it's gonna be so slippery. Oh, hell no. Come on, Mama. You need to get some money. Why is this? I'm gonna be a butt. All right, y'all. I'm about to. If y'all can hear me, I'll be back once I get to work. I think I'm going to get back on here once I get to work. 